welcome to I Love Stocks. Today was not the best day when it come to me trading. You know, I, I did okay. I didn't take a big loss, that's for sure. But uh, I felt like this by the end of the day, or even at the beginning of the day, when trade ideas went out, and then, you know, we were having technical difficulties throughout the whole thing. And I think it was a little bit bigger picture than what was foreseen just to be trade ideas, but that's besides the question. But that's the way I felt today, and we're going to talk about part three of my personal challenge here of to watch five stocks throughout the week and try to make a play off at least one of them every day. And yesterday I did very well. Today I did okay, but I want to show you what trade I did make bad in, in, in the end. And we're going to be talking about Tesla, Baidu, Boeing, Apple, and JFIN. And I really shouldn't have that JFIN on the list, but it is a pump and dump, but we're going to still talk about it. You still get a play off of it. So we're going to go straight into the SPY and just have a little look at the SPY. I'm going to pull up my 200 right here. And we're going to take a look at the SPY. Miss Vegas called a great put on the Tesla today. So we're down here. We're getting close to that 50-day SMA. That's on the SPY. And I noticed it crossed the real strategic first support channel here at 385.63. Now I have a lower support, my third one down here, right around 376.68, with a mid-range pivot point right around 380.69. So we could have another little pullback on this thing. I think we're due for one more day of red, and then we're going to start maybe seeing a little reversal. Or at least maybe by Friday we can have a calm day to where it ain't really that bad unless some more bad news comes in. The increase in COVID is a little bit of scare to call pullback in this market. And, the uh, you know, I'm not too hot about what's going south of the border either with all that illegal immigration and all that extra money they're spending on them down there, kind of like the open borders. I'm not too excited about the two massacres we've had in the past couple of weeks. So you just kind of, that's the way I kind of, it'll all write it off. I think when we do start to recover, it's going to be a nice little bounce. But I have a low support right here, right around 376. I see it on the bottom of this candle. But if we can hold this trend right, right above 380.69, I think we'll be fine. But that first support at 385.63. So let's talk about the trade I made today with Tesla. We're going to go, and that's the, and we're going to talk about it on the 200 also. And I might clean up the chart today and refresh it because it is getting kind of blurry, but you can't really see much on this thing right here. But I would do want to pull it up and show you previous bounces that we have had. And that was off this inverse head and shoulders. We did have a nice little bounce. She went about halfway, a little above that first support channel, bounced up again, almost hit that channel, but bounced up again. And then we've had this solid pullback, and today was just crusher for Tesla. So I came in here thinking it was going to be a bull on this stock this morning. Just the fact that he wants to exchange Bitcoins for Tesla cars. And I thought that was a great idea. But with China, China's my big wrench in the spokes right now. I'm not exactly what's going to happen with China, the way Biden is treating them right now. I figured he would be more of an appeasement president, but... The last meeting they had wasn't too good. And then they came out today and they're going to cut some more, put some more uh, stocks that had poor valuations off the NASDAQ or wherever they got them on the Dow or however, wherever they are. So, yeah, Tesla, I think we can pull back a little bit more. I do have a lower support channel here at 608.79 to 620.79. And it can drop down lower than that. I mean, we were down here at 652.67. We could get a second glance and a second bottom of that. But what I want to do right now is I don't really want to, but I want to erase all these trend lines just to kind of so we can get a bigger picture of what's going on here. As you can see, we broke down below that 50 pretty bad, and she's been nothing but nasty all the way down here. We've tried to break that 700 a few times, just couldn't happen. So we've got a midlife crisis right now going on with Tesla. We've got a support level right here. At Reddit, I'm going to draw some new numbers up because I'm getting a different picture on the feel of the market. So we do have a support level. Where did I see that earlier? Right here. 
right there. And then we have another one right here, which it broke that one. We got to find an equilibrium in here, and that's going to be right around here. We can't pull back to this. I mean, we broke the major support level, and that was the 50 day. We just broke it. So we could have another bubble bottom down here, right around the, the 653 area. She could reach all the way back down there and create a double bottom. And that would be okay with me because I'd love to get in that trade there right around 560 or maybe even down here right around 500 bucks. But for right now, we're going to keep a good eye on this. And the trade I made today on this one here, which was in the challenge, I made two of them. I got in at 385 and I sold it here. Or excuse me. I got in at 385 right here on this one here. And then I sold it at 525. 385 and 525. And then I, my first initial trade was down here again at 385. And I kept buying it on the way down. And I bought another one here at 365. I bought one at 352. And then I turned around and bought two more at 310. And then I bought my last one here at 244, which made the average right around uh, five. Uh, 326 somewhere right around that and then I end up selling the thing for 350 so I end up with these two scalps making more than 300 bucks and that alone is in Tesla and then I turn around and I bought Boeing and that's what screwed me today and that's on that challenge so the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Boeing I got in Boeing um, let's see how many contracts I got two of them I got it in at 405 and three bucks right now we're at right now we're at 262 and it looks to me like we're gonna have us another double bottom on here so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up that chart on the yearly and that's gonna be Boeing Boeing pulled back to almost to a perfect support level and that was right here right around 238.71 and I'm calling that right off the top of these candlesticks and that almost pulled right back to it in fact we probably did 238.71 let's go ahead and draw a couple more trend lines in here just in case she decides to pull back and they're going to be right there these are going to be the three that i'm going to be looking at it's going to be that 229.15 233.46 and 238.71 seems like the best way to bring these stocks down is with news and they started bringing in the debt you know and then they got a loan and how do you navigate this choppy market that's a good question so excuse me 23871 is my first support 23346 and then that 22915 and I bought like I said about the 405s and the three bucks so my average right now is right at 352 and I'm down and we're at 262 right now after hours so we'll just, I mean before the market closed so that's going to be another one we're going to be watching again tomorrow I'm going to probably if I don't get a bounce on it I don't want I'm going to cut my losses real fast and get out of the trade but I'll try to get out even from to, from at least where we are today and then go on from there so the next one we're going to talk about is going to be Baidu Baidu took a pretty good lick into day two I did not take it I was only going to take one then Boeing came out with some kind of exciting news and I went ahead and jumped into the trade still went against my gut instinct to wait and then Baidu is one of my favorite trades you could have had your little trade on it today we're going to clean this chart up clear it up get rid of it so we're getting ready to pull down here too to a lower support level and that's right here at 231 and that'll be a triple bottom and then if we're able and hold this this is a descending pattern so it's going to mean a lot to hold that support level here at 231 if it doesn't hold that we might sit down here right around the 220 area and to me that's going to be a pretty strong buy but it, then you got that low 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 support no lower I can't see it going down to 204, but with the extra COVID cases, Europe locked down, Germany, 
uh, maybe people are uh, s- s- skeptical of all the illegal immigrants that are coming up through the border that might have COVID and spread it throughout the country. They're getting a free ride. So it just always, all I ask is just go through the front door. That's all you got to do. So we're at here at 231.45, 220.31, and 204.03 are my three supports. And tomorrow we're going to see what kind of resistance levels we need to break. We're going to go to the 20 day. We got a resistance right up in here. We got to try to break, and that's going to be right around 247. If I can get this thing up at least up here to, to this area right in here, right around 243, I might go ahead and exit the trade and see if it wants to bring itself on up. If not, I'll be adding on down here, right around the 227 area. I got these three supports that I'm kind of eyeing right now, and this, and then you got this one right here. So, all, all, in all, we need to hold this support right here at 235.52. If it doesn't hold that, we could probably bring it down here right around the 227 to the 220, and then that other one was right at. The RSI is down pretty good too. Usually when we have the RSI down, RSI down here, we have a pretty good little bump. But this was ugly today. Ugly. And we had the same ugliness on this day right here, and then we had to gap up the next day. But I think with the X, like I said, with with Germany and Europe coming out with X with more COVID, this could be a catalyst to bring this stock back down to a double bottom at 227. So we're going to be watching Baidu tomorrow too, right out of the gate. And I'm going to see how I feel about it. Apple also, I think we could have made a trade on Apple today. Let me look at it. Nope, not at all. She pulled back too. I did trigger my alert that I had. I had it right around 121, a little under 121. I had an alert set right around 120.80. That's right here. So that's going to now become a resistance. Then you got a lower support which this one nineteen eighty five this one nineteen eighty five area and then you got the one nineteen fifty one we did have a nice little inverse head and shoulders and she did bounce up real nice and I called this out in the room I said man one sixteen's a bargain get in the trade and run all the way up so right now we're gonna retest this double bottom this little channel right in here between one nineteen fifty one and one nineteen eighty five if that doesn't hold, 118.61 with a double bottom down here right around 116.50. And that's going to be Apple. And then the last one we're going to talk about, but I'm liking Apple. Just right now it's showing a descending pattern and the market's not in the best shape. So JF by N, and there are a lot of good trades called today in the room too, from yesterday that people got out of this morning. We did break that 50-day on the 20-day jiffing, and we had a pretty hard pullback. So we did pull back to a solid support right here where we pulled back before. This is a pump and dump in my book. But we've had two days of pullbacks, and we could see one more right around this 815 area. So that's where I'd probably say is going to be a strong buy. And let's do something here. Turn this into a red line. Right there, right around 825. I don't feel like I need to take a nap. 825 right here. So we're going to be watching this one too, Jiffin. It, I mean, it's not going to be on my priority list. I think I'm about done with it. But definitely keep an eye on Tesla, Baidu, Boeing, and Apple tomorrow. And we'll see how this turns out. And then I'll give the final report on Friday after the market closes. And then we'll start off with five new tickers next week. And then I try to keep this to a bare minimum of less than 20 minutes. And right now we're right around 15, so I'm going to go ahead and sign this off. Remember, Jiffin, I'm kind of taking off the table, but I will watch it tomorrow. If we get down to 825, I might take it up here to right around the 949 area. And right now we're at 997, up a little bit. So that's it with the market report. Remember, if we post alerts in here on Twitter. You can always see them on Twitter. We had a wiki, wiki, wiki today. 
And on the website, we also have our stock twits links. We'd like it if you followed us on there too, and you can see them alerts that come up on here. Please subscribe, ring that bell for future updates. And if you like this video, hit that like button. But this is be my last one will be Thursday and Friday, and I'm going to keep talking about the same tickers. And we're just going to try to find good entries to get in these trades. You don't have to buy them right now. You just got to be patient and let them come to you. Always remember, I love stocks.